here in Breach on the Watchtower. LEGO Batman 2 is all about Gotham. We want to innovate. We want to make this game a LEGO revolution, a LEGO illusion. We want to take this one step further. And that's reflected both in the story and in the free play, the quests, the puzzles, everything kind of that you get to do while you're playing the game. Bigger on characters, bigger on open world, bigger on levels, bigger on, like, humour, dialogue. How do you remember where you're parked? Cool. Ultimately, this is about going and blasting into space, going to the Watchtower, teaming up with the Justice League, teaming up with the Legion of Doom, and going and, and getting Brainiac. This open world experience is effectively sideways teleports that are going to take you from one planet to another. You'll be going to be able to go from the Watchtower to the Batcave to the Moon. From the Moon, you can then go off to Uzmol. From there, you're going to be able to go to Oa. So not only can you get to visit these planets for a kind of story level, you actually get to go back to them. You get to explore them as a free-roaming open world environment. And all of these places look so so unique and so kind of fantastic that we wanted to have make sure that they all had their own flavor. It's all seamless. It's all gonna be full of great adventure. You're gonna have cameos from some crazy characters. You're also gonna have areas where you can try out cool vehicles. It's just a great open world experience. Going to space just gives us so many opportunities to do new and crazy animations. We've got zero gravity. Levels that take place in a kind of spherical and cylindrical world. The main challenge has been to get all of our mechanics and our, our gameplay working in, in that kind of environment, just because we've never We've never done that before. The way things have evolved from uh, Batman 1 through 2 to 3 is the computer power that we have enables us to create bigger and realise more fantastical LEGO designs and creations. It's really important that these models will work from vehicles, creatures, main feature models and cinematic sequences. It's really our desire that if a kid pauses the game, um, they will be able to make this model themselves. And so much so that we do build these out of LEGO bricks ourselves to test them to see how strong they are. For the handheld version of LEGO Batman 3, we really wanted to make sure we're pushing the hardware as, as far as we possibly can. This is the best looking handheld game we've ever done. It's the biggest handheld game we've ever done. It's the most ambitious handheld game we've ever done. It's full 3D and we've got the free roam as well. Everything that you loved in Batman 2 is there, but everything's just raised up to a, just a much higher level of quality. Uh-oh. I'm really tired of getting shot at. We have to find the perfect harmony between kids that are playing this video game and fanboys. So we have to make sure there is an appeal for all spectrums that are going to play this video game, but that's where the fun comes in.